G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Let's sit at my desk and play today. I don't have a ton of time. My, uh, what's it called? Scheduling? My time management skills have been poor this week. I've actually been an idiot with how much I've tried to cram into this week and still manage to have everything go uh, smoothly. I don't know why I thought that would happen, but as it is, I've got about half an hour, 40 minutes before I have to go and pick up Steve from work and then I myself am going off to another work. I've already been to another work today. I feel like it's just work, 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 but uh, to be honest, I'm enjoying it all, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, it's not like work you don't want to go to. I've been over at Disneyland and I'll be at Knott's Berry Farm tonight, so it's uh, a lot of fun. But I've got my, what's this called? Jumbo journal out, and I do have a, bo a box of junk. It's not full, so there's not a ton, uh, but I will be doing just some of this today. And I finally got my tape runner refilled, which is fabulina, because I could not bear having to stick everything in uh, with glue. It's just not gonna happen for me. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do this with any rhyme or reason. I guess I'm just gonna stick things in because that's what we do. Remember I told you on this one, I was gonna be a little bit better about, uh, you know, composition because even though it was lots of junk, I didn't really love, I didn't really love when it looked too junky and chaotic. Well, I mean, I did for the time that I did it. I always let my mood dictate how I do it. So my mood right now is just a little bit more organized, a little bit more precise, if you will. But I got lots of random junk here too. All these little things you see me pull off, those are from my checks. I still get paper checks uh, from one of my places of employment. And that was not even like something I set up. For some reason, it just happened that way and I never bothered to fix it. And a part of me just really enjoys it because uh, it just feels so old school, but it's not that great. I should probably fix that. However, getting the paper checks and doing the deposit ma manually always makes me check in with my finances every week, which I do think is a better thing for me to do. So it's a bit of a catch-22. I feel like I should probably fix that, but then um, I won't check my bank account often and then I'll just be buying things and I don't need to be buying things. <laughs> oh, it gets like that, doesn't it? This is a new eye repair cream that I was trying. I would never really stray away from the things that work, but Shiseido is just so expensive. So every now and again, I do uh, pretend like I'm gonna start saving money on that. And this one is, I'm like hit or miss with. I actually feel like it's too heavy under my eyes and is causing a bit of like, like buildup under my eyes. You know how you can get those really tiny little bumps? I don't like that. So I may have to give the CeraVe one a bit of a miss. I think it'd be great for people who need something heavy duty, but I don't think I need that much under my eyes at this present moment. This is almost full. I literally thought we started this last time I turned the camera on and now I've got what, no place left. Let me put you down here. I don't like to overthink anything. So if it looks like it's going somewhere, that's where it's going. I should probably write my little review of this so I don't see it in here and think, oh, I must have loved it. Let's buy it again. It wasn't bad. It's just not my favorite. But it's hard to compare a lot of things to Shiseido because you pay a lot of money for it, but it is actually really nice quality. And it's, you know, you get something that works for you and then you just kind of stick with it for so many years. This is an actual face mask that I got as a Valentine's little gift. But I don't think I'll use it. Or maybe I will. Maybe one day I'll just be in desperate need. I'll grab the journal and I'll pull it out. There's also the risk of this exploding, but you know what? That'll make for a fun story if I ever open this up. And The face mask is everywhere. I think it's one of the sheet masks, so it's not super oily if it does explode. That really does feel like it's going to explode. <laughs> oh, well. CC Lemon. This is a drink I used to drink in Japan a lot, and we always get it when we go to Mitsua Marketplace. Where do I want you? I don't think I need all that clear plastic. I convince myself that if I drink the CC lemon that it's it's like drinking straight vitamin C because it I mean it really does have a lot what does it say something like yeah 40 lemons worth of vitamin C so I just feel like it's a health drink but it's really just like lemon soft drink but it's more lemon flavored not lemonade and I like that I think we call it squash like what do we call it in Australia solo or my mum says solo, uh, it's more lemon squash. 
because I'm not a huge fan of lemonade. Lemonade makes me feel sick. You know when you have a sour stomach and you have to drink lemonade? Or it makes me think of those really cheap ice blocks. For some reason, like the most stock standard ice block flavor that's the cheapest is lemonade. I don't hate lemonade. Just, I prefer lemon squash. And that's a big thing in, uh, well, I don't know if it's a big thing, but like when my family would go to KFC in Australia, we would get Solo for the drink. This is my Tim Holtz mini attacher, tiny attacher, tiny attacher. Love it. Still love it. Still using it. Am I in frame? Oh, I'm shifting out. I'll go slightly this way. There we go. Huh. Got a lot of energy for just getting home. This is another little Valentine's thing. You can kind of tell when the junk started to pile up because if there's a season that went by, you can see a lot of the stuff from that season. So we got some, uh, we got some V-Day stuff in here. Uh, Anui, this again. I got this little pouch, which is great because I have a piece of ephemera that is like this. Well, you can see it here. This little strawberry keychain thing. Oh, maybe I want to stick it on something. I totally lie. I'm going to put it on like a keychain. Just tie it to one of these tags. There we go. Now I, oh, I ripped that off. Well, <laughs> I'm going to staple it on. Let's go over here. I feel like the strawberry kind of matches this ladybug vibe. Lady beetle, I've written. Is a beetle different than a bug? Ladybug? All right. There's enough of those. And I might as well put this on too. Teammate is an underwear brand. I think it's only for men, so most people watching this will not want that. There's some really beautiful bamboo uh, undies. Feel so nice. Oh, here's a gag. This is my performance resume. It lists everything I've ever done as a dancer, and I take this to auditions just in case they want it. Usually they don't want it anymore, it's uh, all digital. But I'm gonna put this in because it's mostly updated. Yeah, I think this is the most recent one because I've got It's Your Life Charlie Brown on there. Sometimes I take old things off. This is the eight by 10 headshot that I give them as well. I print mine on the sticker paper because that's what I had at the time. They don't usually want your headshot either. It's just usually all digital now. And let's pop this right there. I might need to get my tape for this. Just clear tape, nothing special. This is the Scotch Magic Tape. Don't know why it's magic. It kind of looks frosted. My family have gone to the Easter show, which if you don't know, the Royal Easter show in Sydney is like this huge agricultural show that's just been going on forever. And it's like a fair, like a an agricultural fair, and it is just huge, and I love it, and I'm so jealous. It is my favorite, favorite thing ever, and one of the times I can rarely ever really get home is around Easter time. I don't know why I always seem to be doing something around Easter, but it's one of the things I actually wish I was visiting for every year, and I don't think I've been for, like, how many years? Did I go? I went after my accident. What was that? 2016. 2016. That's a long time. What is that? Eight years? So I definitely need to plan better and make sure that I can be in Australia for that. And it's especially nice to see Elijah and Savannah, now Sophia, like my little nieces and nephew going. And then I get super jealous because my mum's there just sending me photos and videos of everything, which I ask her to do. She's not doing it to be nasty. Put my chocolate on here. I feel like there's a, there's a bad, sad, hidden meaning in putting a chocolate wrapper on my... <laughs> Of my performance CV <laughs> because if you don't know uh, body diversity is relatively new within the performance space and I do feel like for the longest time I wasn't booking jobs because I'd gained so much weight which is still maybe partly true who knows how true it is they never really outright tell you but if they only make costumes in a certain size and you're not that size then you know, two plus two equals four. So 
so putting a chocolate wrapper on that is not the best idea. But you know what? That's all in the past now. I've lost a lot of weight. I am dancing again, so we, we can laugh about it, I guess. <laughs> as mad about it as I was for so long. This is... This is literally the last page. I have to just tip these in at this point. This is a mood board we used for a shoot. Whose shoot did we use this for? I think maybe this was the one we did with Grace and Emmy, possibly. Don't really remember. Either way, sometimes Steve gives them to me and other times he keeps them at the studio. I don't know how he decides which ones he wants to keep and which ones I can have, but I end up with some of them and I like them. They're kind of little memories of where he's at growing as a photographer. This little sticker. What do I want you? Yeah. It's just the outside. It's the weeding, the outside part of the sticker. I already used the main part, like this part as well. That. Was that done? These are all finished? Oh no, here's another one. How bizarre I managed to collect all these rectangular stickers. It's like a little photo gallery. I could do something fun with that if this wasn't a journal that I just stuck things in. Maybe I'll feature this little gummy bear packet in, the, in here. That looks good. It's art. It's modern art. staple. Sometimes I just like to put a staple here and there just to make sure it doesn't all fall apart. Post it. Don't know what that was from. What does it say? Ah, I was measuring the dots. I think it was for the video where I was making this, how many holes I would need to poke in and out to have the thread come through the right way. I think at the end I just abandoned it and just decided to do it because I wasn't getting it right. If you did my workshop memory to memento, this technique might look a little familiar to you. This is that Tetris tiling kind of a thing that I was telling you about in that workshop. So even though this is very intuitive, there is a bit of a method to the madness. Why did I do that? Look at that. I did it this side. There's absolutely nothing on the back. That's so funny. I'm going to put it in there anyway. <laughs> I should check. Just how free and easy I get with this journal. I don't even seem to care. Oh, here's another sticker sheet that needs to be weeded. I wonder why they call it weeding. Or maybe I've made that up. I've heard that term. In my mind, that term relates to the backing of the sticker sheet or, oh, I guess not. No, yeah. Because I've seen people when they're using cutting machines, they're like, oh, I'm just weeding it off the thing. I don't know if I'm using that term correctly. Oh, let's just put this on here. I'll put the love heart over Tokyo Disney Resort because that's one of my most, most cherished memories. That really was my dream when I was in high school. I've enjoyed a lot of what I've done, but if I had to pick one that I could just not bear to live without, I would never strike that from my memory. Oh, that's not working. I'll just put this on here. I ate this whole bag of chocolates in like one go, so I will not be buying them again. They weren't even that good, but they half reminded me of a fantail, which apparently have gone extinct in Australia. Well, the last time I was there, they were talking about not making them anymore. Where can I put this? I might just have to cut these out. These were a print samples of that sticker that I made for my cast in It's Your Life, Charlie Brown. That I used the peanut style illustrations for. Oof, my schedule has been so packed. And it's still pretty busy 
going into the weekend. I will have a slight bit of time, but like, it was all stuff I knew was happening, but then also um, stuff that I didn't know specifically when I was gonna have to do, like my art snacks video, which I've done, but now at this point I'm looking for a, a time when Steve and I are both here and the sunlight is out so I can film the intro and the outro. So things like that just, you realize like, no, I can't coordinate that time. Like it's just gonna have to be when it's gonna have to be. I think I filmed it three or four days ago. I edited it three days ago maybe. And I was like, great, I just need to do the intro outro and then send it. And then Steve was like, well, I'm not available until this time. And then I thought, well, I can't do that time. So I'm not available until then. I have to do it tomorrow, days later. Which is the only thing I don't like about it. I wish. I wish somehow I could do that intro outro without him. Not that he doesn't do a great job and I do appreciate it, but I don't like being reliant because it's times like that, that I probably, I, you know, I could have just finished that piece of work days ago. And originally I thought by this point I'd be finished with my 5e Hobonichi video and that would be my Friday video for you, but I'm still editing it. Like I'm up to November. It is just such, I haven't even color graded it yet. I haven't done the voiceover stuff for it. It has been a grind to do that video and it will be worth it. And so I am doing my best effort on it, but far out, it is a lot. I don't think I've worked that hard on a video in ages. Like usually I work pretty diligently on travel vlogs that I do. Like if I go to Australia and I wanna share the video from that. And ironically, they're kind of like the least well-received videos <laughs> that I spend the most time on them. And honestly, I don't care. I'll always spend the most time on them because um, they're ones that I will rewatch back or my family will watch back uh, whenever we just want to revisit those memories. So it's a lot more personal for me to do those. Uh, I put them on my channel because I do, you know, travel journaling content related to it and very specifically uh, for it. So I want people to see what's going on, but yeah, the actual videos themselves, most people are like, could have done without that one. Just fair. I mean, it's someone else's holiday. Most people don't really need to see that. I don't need to see that. This is a sticker sheet that I created for the Triannual Wizarding Convention number four years ago. I think it was a teacher trade. Had all these gorgeous little witches and hands doing spells on it. And I think this was kind of when I first got my silhouette portrait cutting machine. It's a silhouette portrait three. It's very compact, very mini. I love it to death. Uh, and I think this is one of the first quote unquote sticker sheets I made because I wanted to test it all out. I'm just gonna pop that straight over the top. We're layering today because we don't have any extra space. And all of this is mostly garbage anyway, so who really cares? I did this before. Sometimes I get the urge to color inside the sticker areas. I'll put eyes in there. I wish I had some googly eyes. I'd put them in there. I could try and redraw the witches that were in here, but maybe I'll do that for this one. I'll do her, because she's got a bit of open face space. Where is more pen? I'll use this. It's not going to be good, but I'll put her lips in. Little nose. Eyes. Diva. Glamorous diva eyes. Give her a little witchy hat. In my older, uh, do you hear that? <laughs> it's my chest. I need to eat something. Uh, in my older trash journals, the Traveler's Notebook size ones, I used to kind of mix media a lot on top. I don't know what she had. Oh, it's a collar. The. And I need to go through those because I saw some the other day from my Instagram post and I thought, oh, I want to put that on my, uh, I want to put that in Collage Club. That's another thing I'm working on currently. Just got too many pies in the oven that I need to take out. She's kind of cute. I don't mind her. What if we get some, just one other shade of green, we'll do a tone on tone, just get some of those stripies in there. Give her some more glamorous eyes and lips. Oh, now she looks like she's smiling. I can't have that. I do not love the smiles. And then I'd probably go in with a white gel pen just to give it a little bit of a pop. Oh, 
that one is yellow. Must have just gone over some yellow paint or something. Green. She's the Wicked Witch of the West. Elphaba. Bit of highlight. Bit of highlight here and there, maybe a few stars. I don't know why I caught the urge to do that, but we've done it now. Moving on. Excuse me while I blow my nose. Had allergies all day. I don't think I sound terrible today. You know how I usually sound super nasal? Can't bear it. You're done. All right. Oh, not a McDonald's bag. <laughs> Let's put that with the CV as well. Then we can really make fun of the fact that I can't seem to stop eating. I can. That's not true. Don't say that. All right. This bag can go here. Might put something in it. I don't know there for now. Get a little bit of tape as well. I just love a McChicken. I actually love a hot and spicy McChicken now. And a uh, cheeseburger. I don't know what it is. I know they're not great for you, but every now and again I just have to have a cheeseburger. But I got this. This was some collaboration with, I don't know who, but when it, it became all Japanese and like anime and it was called Wookdonald's. Like the M was flipped upside down and so there were McWuggets. No, Wooknuggets. <laughs> McWuggets still works. Um, but I loved the packaging. So even if there's some chip grease in there, that'll be fine. I'll put it here. It's nice and colorful here. I thought I'm absolutely gonna keep that. Steve's so funny. He won't throw anything out that he knows that there might even be a slight chance that I want to use it in my journal. It's very kind of him. I'm sure it sends him insane. Okay. And then I have this Knott's Berry Farm bag. Steve got some fudge from there. It's very sickly sweet. You can't have a lot. I'm just going to cut out the, the logo. Stick that in. It's hard to cut these plastic bags, but they're transparent, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I got you some lunch. My stomach is really not playing today. Or not my stomach, like acid reflux. You ever get that when you don't eat for a long time and then you suddenly just get all this, like, ugh. Uh, 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 where do I want to put you? I just want to put here because this was at Knott's Berry Farm. So let me just do that. Sometimes it is a little confusing to flip through these journals because the layers are all everywhere and it just doesn't make sense sometimes like to pull one layer and you accidentally pulled open three or well, then they don't close in the right order and you're like, hang on, what's going on? So lean into it. Do not try and control it. It's just going to make you irritated. Just it is what it is. There we go. And... I got a new name tag the other day from Disneyland. They've got Anaheim, California on it. I don't know why. My other one says Sydney, Australia. So I'm going to have to get them to give me a new one because it's super cute and colorful all around it. But this little post-it was on there. So I'm going to put this post-it in there. all out of that soap. I think I'll go and get a new one. I just had one the other day that had patchouli in it. My mum had this spray when we were, I want to say younger, but, but maybe not, maybe teens, um, that had patchouli in it. It was like a sleep spray. And I really liked it. So showering with it just made me feel like, just like nice and cozy and sleepy.
Maybe I want to do different scents for different times of day. Like, I have different colognes that I wear for different occasions and different moments. Like, there's some colognes I won't put on in the morning because they're, like, very clearly, you know, nighttime... Nighttime fun time perfumes, colognes, scents, but then there are other things that I'm like, mm, this is too fresh and daytime to go to sleep in. So I do that with colognes, but not really with soap. I feel like I might be getting into more of that. Steve's becoming very much into scents. Put this right here done my art snacks, but I won't put it in right now because I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'll put it in after the video is finished. And then hopefully by the time you see this, it'll be live. And this mermaid. I've done this. I don't know if I will do mermaid or not. I want to, and I really want to do, like, a video for every day of the month, which, again, historically has been terrible for my channel. <laughs> when have I ever made good choices for my YouTube channel? I'm surprised there's anyone left. But I think I want to. Because I'm just really in a mermaid drawing mood, and I just had so much fun doing this. I've been drawing other mermaids. At this point, I've done, like, you know, half of mermaid without even trying, so... I feel like I could just put the camera on, film them, do my little voiceovers, match the speed to the voiceover. Like, if I talk for 10 minutes, it'll probably go pretty quickly. If I talk for 20 minutes, it'll be, you know, relatively normal speed. And then put them out there. Just so I can catch up with you more often. Once a week is fine. I do feel like I get to share all my stories with you, but I, I really just feel like I'm catching up. I'm like, here's the things I've done. Here's what I'm enjoying. Okay, bye. See you next week. Or if you follow me on Instagram, see you later tonight where I post more photos and videos of my dancing. But I want to get more in depth with topics that we used to cover. We've talked about many really interesting things here. And you know, I love to share my opinion unsolicited. So I feel like that would be a nice forum to do that in. Get to spend some more time together. I just haven't done a challenge in so long. I'm not even really in a challenge mood. I just, I think it was more of a, draw, a mermaid drawing mood. And they just go hand in hand, so. There we go. We've done a great job of getting our, let's call them assets. I like calling things assets. It feels so formal. We've done a great job getting our assets into the journal today. Big win for us. I'm just gonna stick it straight on top. Actually, I'll stick this one down first, and then this one on top. Grish. Oh, I wanted to put this in here. Remind me that this button is in here. I have no idea what it's from. Let me have a look. No, it doesn't even have a thing on it. I think every jumbo journal has an assortment of buttons and extra, you know, bits and bobs from something. <laughs> I have no idea what they're all from, but they're all in there. Lovely. I think that's it. I'll give you a quick flip. Let me just check I'm in frame. Yep, looks good. Here's the start of the journal, page one, this page. Lots of lovely junk. I mean, you've seen every page since we've started the video, but I'll just give you a progress update. We've got Christmas and Valentine's in here. We've got Virtual Voyage 8 in here. We've got McDonald's in here. It doesn't smell like McDonald's. You know how I put the soap packets in? You can smell the soap. That, thank goodness, does not smell like McWuggets. <laughs> We got all this junk. These don't have anything in them, but I can put some stuff in there. That one's technically kind of covered up now and closed, so I'll put some tape on there so I don't try to open it. Because I will, I'll forget what's tape, uh, what's like, you know, available to you as, and what's not, and I will pull something open and pull it off the page. 
which is fine. Stick it back down, doesn't matter. But usually helps if I can see some tape there, I know. Oh, okay, that one doesn't work. Put it here. Oh look, Bianca hair. It's not stuck down. I'm gonna stick it down because I love the cats. And I'll put Bianca hair. 2024. And then, last page, nothing on it. There's nothing on the cover of this one. I should probably get to sticking something on the cover because all the other ones are, they definitely had stuff by this point. And this is not finished, but I mean, there's not much to go. I mean, it's pretty full. So I'll work on that. Anyway, thank you so much for spending, looks like we bang on half an hour with me today. I'll have a lovely uh, quick little snack. I'll probably go and pick up Steve from work. Then I'm off to Knott's Berry Farm to perform in Preserved. And that has been so much fun. I can't even explain to you. The show itself, uh, when I originally watched it, I watched it a long time ago. Uh, I thought it looked like... It was a lot, like it was, looks pretty exhausting. Uh, but I thought, oh yeah, no, it's, it's just like a regular, you know, stage show. And I didn't really think much of it, to be honest. Not that I didn't like it, but it wasn't like something that I was dying to be in either. I was just, just kind of thinking like, oh yeah, that would be fun. Uh, now I literally can't even imagine not being in it. <laughs> it is not only exhausting to do, it is super fun to do and like a great cardio workout. I feel very challenged and very stretched with uh, all the singing that I have to try and do as well. Um, but also the people, like the cast, I haven't been in a stage show since 2015. Like I haven't had to change a costume during a performance in 2015. So that has kind of brought me right back into what it's like to be in a stage show. Dancing in a, you know, a parade is very different to dancing in a stage show and you know, even when I did the Goring 20s last year, it's not Scary Farm. That was a balcony kind of experience. And even though this is outdoors, like in the Goring 20s, it was more like a set and there was improvised numbers and then choreographed numbers, but it was all the same costume and you just did your 20 minute something set and then went back in and then did it again later that night uh, multiple times. This just is just different. This is such a classic stage show. You know, you go out, you do your number, then you come back and you do a quick change and you go out and do another number. You come back, you do a quick change. Um, even in It's Your Life, I, we wore the one costume for it. So I was technically back on stage then, but this is really, I think, the closest I've been to what I did before my accident. And perhaps that has something to do with the kind of emotional roller coaster that I go on sometimes with uh, thinking about Preserve, but it's just the people really. I mean, uh, it is such a fun group of people and there's so many people, like this is also a much bigger cast than uh, I've been in lately. I'm just having such a blast. I really can't pinpoint it down to one thing. It's just a mixture of circumstances and I just love it over there. So uh, that is really exciting. But at this point in our run for the, the, the cause it's coincides with the Boys and Berry Festival, uh, our schedule kind of changes a little bit. And so we're coming up towards the end of the season. I'm getting a little bit sad about it, just thinking about it, but I am kind of going straight from, you know, I'm, I'm not really gonna have any downtime, I should say. So it'll be okay. But yeah, I just, I have such, I have such a good time over there. <laughs> it's really crazy too, cause it's only a three and a half hour shift really. Like uh, we don't get over there until five o'clock and you know, a few hours later it's all done. And you know, you kind of go home and it just feels like just a really intense bit of energy for my day. And I just come back home, you know, so, I don't know, so kind of exhausted in the best way and just very happy and very socialized. I think that's always something that, you know, I'll never take for granted again. I'm sitting here chatting to you, but you're not really here. Like I can imagine who you are. I think of people, you know, some people I've met in real life before. And then I, a lot of the time I just picture kind of an archetype of, you know, who I think is watching this video and I just talk to you and I, I do, I'm a little crazy. I try and pretend that you're here <laughs> and that I'm just chatting to you and that you don't say anything back and I just have to keep talking. But, um, you know, that is very parasocial and a lot of the times it can feel a little one-sided uh, when I sit here and, you know, the video is off. I just feel like, oh, I'm, you know, kind of alone 
no one to talk to. Where are all my friends? <laughs> I'll eat lunch by myself. You know, Steve's here, obviously, but he works a lot outside of home. And so I think I miss that more than anything. Obviously, I love performing and that's probably what I miss the most. But I do love the social aspect. And this has been, I think, just super fun. It's very carefree, this entire experience. Maybe that's just the way I approached it. I don't know. <laughs> I do care. But I just, yeah, I've had such a good time. I don't want to think about it finishing just yet, but I wanted to let you know that that's where I'm at. Uh, and so when you see me oversharing on Instagram, I just can't help it. I just really love it. And I hope that <laughs> hope that you can see that. I'll, uh, yeah. I was thinking of working about on something, you know, I've been doing the Goring 20s. You saw that in here, that artwork that I did for my cast there. And then I did the sticker for It's Your Life, Charlie Brown. I don't know if I'll do something for Preserve because it's such a big cast. I can't even imagine like, what I would want to do and how many of those I would have to make. But I do want to, I want to do something artistic kind of inspired by it. I also just have 0.0, .0 minutes in my schedule to spare right now. So we'll see what happens. But uh, my intentions there and with Mermaid as well. And I also have a whole bunch of research that I'm currently doing and that I have books and books and books arriving to my house on different uh, things for Virtual Voyage 9, which is looking to be a summer workshop. And I'm very excited to talk more about that at length sometime soon, but that is also something I'm working on. So very busy over here, loving it all. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I will see you when I see you next. Until then, goodbye.